Hi loves! So I am probably the only person who starts a vlog whenever they're over a hundred pages into the book already. <sighs> My bad. On the drive home from our Asheville Thanksgiving vacation, I started Iron Flame and my mom started listening to the audiobook. And unfortunately, um, the book is super good. And I wasn't really wanting to stop and update you guys or like officially start the vlog simply because the book was so, so, so good. And I didn't look like good. So I didn't want to like put the camera in my face. I was just in the car for like five and a half hours. Y'all calm down. I am on chapter 13, page 122 of Iron Flame, and I am absolutely devouring this book so far. Violet, Zayden, the world, it is just magical. It's literally magical and I love it so much. If you guys haven't watched my fourth wing reading vlog, I'm going to link it up here. Please go watch it because you'll understand what I'm about to say. With fourth wing, I read that book during my midterms week in college and it was just a train wreck because every single time I wanted to sit down and read my book, my brain would go, mm, should probably study. And yeah, I should probably study. So that's ultimately what I did was I would stop reading to study. Well, guys, <laughs> final season is upon us. But because I just had this whole week off from break and my school doesn't start until Monday, back for the last two weeks and our finals exams and everything, I have the rest of today, tomorrow, to finish this book or at least get far enough into it that I don't really want to put my studying above it. That is what we're doing. I'm going to spend the rest of today reading. Um, ideally, I would love... Ideally, I would love to get to page like 300. I feel like this book is like 630 pages, so I would love to get to page... 300, 350, at least a little bit over halfway today, possibly more ideally page 400 but I don't know if that's gonna happen but I'll keep you guys updated it's like I want to keep reading but I don't want to leave this world and I've been reading um some of like the goodreads reviews all of them are saying there's a cliffhanger and apparently on goodreads if you click the third book like if you scroll and say like other books in the series you click the third one and it says December 2024 so that means if I finish this book tomorrow, I have over a year, over a year until I get the second one. And if there's going to be a giant cliffhanger, I don't want to read it. I'm really, really enjoying Sloan. Sloan is a new addition to this book, and I really feel like I'm going to read some character growth between her and Violet, and I'm so excited to read that. It's such a good book. Literally such a good book. Hey y'all! So obviously I was a silly goose and saying I wanted to get to page 400 yesterday. Did not happen. No. I got to page 200 and then I went to sleep. I've been reading for the past hour, hour and a half, and I made it to page 272, chapter 30. Also, I changed my sheets to be Christmassy! so excited for this Christmas season without spoiling anything I just got to the point where Violet is finally <laughs> and it's about to get good I already know so I'm going to go put my hair in a top knot take off my makeup and just get comfy because I have a feeling I'm not done reading anytime soon so that's um I'm really excited this book is so good I feel like I'm flying through this book a lot faster than I was with the other one a lot of people said that Iron Flame this book is a lot more of the politics and everything but I'm actually really enjoying that aspect of this book um I just feel like this book is giving us so much information but with so many good scenes it's really easy for me to be reading it I feel like the last book there was so much like character building and like plot stuff it was just easy to like read um but I feel like now in this book like we know the characters so I feel like uh, the only way I can describe it is like you remember in like Akamoff where 
um, Feyre meets, like, all the friends, and it's that dinner scene where she's trying to, like, understand, like, who's who and, like, who is, like, just understand the friend group. I feel like that was book one, and then the, like, friend group that was established at the end of that book and in Act of War, I feel like is this book. Like, Violet has her key people, Rhiannon, Imogen, Zayden, Sawyer, Riddick, Bodhi. Like, I feel like she has, like, a core group of people that, like, we as readers know very well. Personally, Loki kind of in love with Riddick, okay? Sorry, I'm just gonna put it out there. I just love him and Sawyer whenever they caught up with each other. I just, it's so fun. So, I feel like the friend group is established now and I feel like with Violet finally opening up about some stuff um I think their friendship is going to grow and I'm really excited to read that it's so good but yeah I'll keep you guys updated um my mom is nowhere near the chapter I'm on oopsies and I will catch up with you guys on where I'm at tomorrow so bye It's like driving me insane but it's also like the best thing ever i have been listening to the iron flame playlist all day today i'm not kidding all day today and then i went to the gym and i kept listening to it and that was like one of the best workouts i've had simply because i told myself i was violet swarengill do you know how hard you work out whenever you think you're violet swarengill <sighs> so anyways my arms are going to hurt tomorrow for sure. So anyway, went to the gym, listened to that playlist, and then I came home, got in the shower, and now we're here. So I'm going to brush my hair and give you guys some updates on my thoughts. I am such a silly goof for thinking I was going to finish that book last night and get to, like anywhere far in the book because that didn't happen. Um, but I got to part two. I think that was like the last clip in my little montage moment. But yeah, I got to part two and it was just like such a whirlwind for like five chapters. I was like, I was eating it up. So I'm so excited for like what this next part is bringing, but I don't want it to end. That's like, that's where we are right now. So I'm honestly kind of shocked I'm enjoying this book um, as much as I am. Like in comparison to how I felt at Fourth Wing, like I just wasn't like that big a fan of it. And so, sorry, I'm literally brushing my hair while I'm talking to you guys. Um, but I just wasn't like... I didn't feel any like connection to the characters and I think it's because like I didn't know them like at all like like I hadn't had an experience with them yet which is why like standalone it's so hard for me to find like a five star standalone book just because it takes me so long to like love a character and so if authors can get me to love their characters within like one book and that's all I need they are amazing. Um, which is why, like, I love Abby Jimenez so much because, like, her characters are so real and it's so easy for me to, like, get them. Whereas, like, with fantasy books, if you guys don't know, I'm a character-driven reader, so it's really, really hard for me to, like, love a book if I don't love a character. Like, 
I could have the most boring plot in the world, but if I love a character, I will read it and I might rate it four stars. We don't know. But so that's why it's so hard for me to like love fantasy books and want to read fantasy books because I just can't relate to the characters. Like, am I going to war college right now? No. Do I feel like I'm out of war in college? Yeah, but it's not the same thing. So I can't really relate to her, if that makes sense. But I don't know what it is. I think maybe like they're so real. Like, yeah, like they're flying dragons and like they're killing each other, but they just feel real. And the whole like found family that Violet's found with Rhiannon and Sawyer and Riddick, like I'm just like, oh, I'm just loving reading these books so much. Um, but so that's like how I feel. I feel like with Fourth Wing, I just needed to like get to know them and that's why I couldn't rate it so high. The big difference to me, because I've noticed I'm like, I'm so excited to like read this book. Whereas with Fourth Wing, I wasn't like that excited to get into it. But I also feel like so much more is happening in this book and we didn't get it last book. Thanks for coming to Shower Thoughts with Ainsley. I just have so many books just like sitting around my room. Do I have bookshelves? Yes. Why are they not there? I don't know. I don't know it's mainly because I pull books out and I'm like oh this would be such a good video for a TikTok or for a book talk or for a booktube and they just sit there for like weeks until I decide if I'm actually making the creation or not anyways okay so I'm gonna go read I don't know if I'm gonna do a montage because I just feel like I just don't feel like pretty right now so I don't okay so I'll catch up with you guys later bye do you guys like my space buns and Merry Christmas? And I'm wearing this super cute, super cute little reindeer outfit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So another week has passed and gone and I've not finished Iron Flame, I'm so sorry. Um, we had my church's biggest outreach event of the year today. So pretty much everything this week when I haven't been devoted to my school finals, I've been devoted to getting life ready and everything prepared for this event just to, for it to be amazing for the kids and it was. It was a huge success today. I'm so thankful that it's behind me and I'm so thankful that God blessed us in such a powerful way today, um, both in my stamina, in my volunteer stamina, just in allowing today to just be a beautiful, joyful day for everybody included. Do you guys ever read books, like chapters, and you're just like, what the heck is going on? Because I just read like three chapters in fourth wing and I don't understand what happened like I'm so confused I like I'm so confused so I'm gonna go back and reread it but I don't understand I just went to the gym such a good workout such a good workout I'm gonna go shower and get ready we're gonna have like a chill reading night and I'm so excited I'm finishing this book tonight I'm not going to bed till this book is finished. There we go. So, catch you guys when I get started with reading. Bye! I finished. I didn't brush my hair. <laughs> so, as you guys saw last night, I finished reading Iron Flame, but what you guys didn't really see is that my mom was also reading Iron Flame around the same time as I was. And so, I kind of just want us to sit here and kind of regroup on what our thoughts are. So, I ended up reading Iron Flame 4.5 stars. I rated it 
4.5 stars. Did you actually? Or are you just saying I that? said five. I did five. Okay, perfect. So how long did it take you to read it? Well, I listened to it. And it took... Well, <laughs> my problem... I, I love to listen to it. It's just more exciting. But I fall asleep every now and then. <laughs> So I have to back it up and listen to it <laughs> over. So it took me a really long time. Oh, there was one book that she she read it like she finished it like five times. I did. <laughs> so reading this book, it took me two weeks. Um, it was really really good. I think for me, I know that whenever you get into this book, you you just fall into this rabbit hole and you you're not going to be able to escape it for like three hours every single time you start reading. And so for me, I didn't even, I knew that I didn't have the three hours taken to dedicate to this book. So I wouldn't even want to read it because I didn't want to fall into the book and then have to leave. Yeah. So you just want to go straight through it. Yeah. So exactly. I knew that I couldn't, I couldn't dedicate just like, I'm going to sit down and read for however long I can. I didn't have that because it was finals week and it was, we had our biggest event of the year at my church. So it was just a chaotic time, but I'm really thankful that I got to read this book because I do feel like whenever I was stressed, this was a really, really good escape for me. Like it was amazing to just yeah. dive into this book. All yeah. consuming. So what were your favorite parts of the book? Oh, good land. Um, do you want me to give mine and then you go? <laughs> okay. That's probably going to be the same. Um, I think... <laughs> copier i think my favorite part of this book is the new edition of sloan which is liam's younger sister mm. um which i feel like that's not even really a spoiler because mm. rebecca yaros herself said to look out for the other sibling mm. so i really did enjoy reading her and seeing her development um i think she was a really good part I think she was just like a really good addition he to the just book. tooted on me no mom he did a little gag thing oh. like the uh, I really like the new characters we got to see and I like that. I like the development of the characters that we got in the first book. I thought that was really seamless and I ended up liking some characters that I didn't in the first book so I definitely like seeing that naturally progress. Um, I am still on the fence about a couple characters though. The reason I gave this book 4.5 stars and I took off half a star is because at the beginning of part two I felt like it was kind of really slow but I feel like I only thought that way because the part one was so fast paced and the ending of part two was so fast paced. So there's just like this lull in the middle of the pacing and that's why I took off point five because I felt like it was kind of dragging. But in reality, that dragging is just like a normal pace for a different fantasy book. But this book just has such an elevated pace that I wasn't used to that like slowness. Was that his head? <laughs> yeah. It my favorite character from this book was Zayden. Did you think he has a big part in this book as the first one? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe it's because the, he's my favorite. I didn't feel like I got enough of him. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. In the book. But mm -hmm. He was my favorite. Um, I can't tell you my favorite part because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so is that everything? <laughs> what did you think of the writing? Was the writing good? Yes. I uh, I said before, I listened to it, and um, wow, the the lady that read it was amazing. Um, ooh, she did a fantastic job. That probably gave it a couple extra stars, making <laughs> it like eight. Yeah. That's good. That super, so, yeah. do you think if you were to physically read it, it would have changed your experience? Oh, I'd probably still be reading. <laughs> Just because I read so slow. But That's true. There's some, quite a few bad words in here. We'll say that. These young people nowadays. Mom, they're my age. I know. <laughs> Except for you. Thanks, Mom. I will say the quote unquote like the cliffhanger at the end that everybody was like complaining about, I didn't really feel like it was that like <gasps> Yeah, no, you know? me neither. Like pe people are like, oh that cliffhanger, I can't wait another year, but I'm just like uh, maybe I didn't understand it. Oh, I think that that's another reason why I didn't give it the full five is because there were a lot of parts that I had to go back and reread because I simply didn't understand. Like I feel like her description in this book wasn't as good as it was in Fourth Wing. 
Like in Fourth Wing, I could clearly picture so many parts, but in this book, I, it was, I had to try harder to like actually picture where we were. And some of the battle scenes, I was like, wait, how did that just happen? Like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So there are a lot of times that I had to be like, I don't understand this. And I would have to go back like three pages. So. Yeah, I understand. I, I did the same thing. And I even looked at other people's reviews to see what they thought of the ending. Yeah. I don't understand why so many people gave it one stars, though. I really do feel like That's even if I had under, like, even if I had understood nothing of this book, it still would have been like a three. I know. Because it's, it was so fast paced and the characters are so fun. It's over 600 pages. It's definitely worth more than one star. Okay, well, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please comment down below and subscribe and like this video. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye!